Here are five basic React concepts beginners should know, ranked from least to most interesting. Number one, rendering. Rendering. It's a boring name, but it's what we do to make websites come to life. Browsers render web pages from HTML and CSS, but unless we tell them to, they don't really change. React, on the other hand, renders HTML and CSS using JavaScript. And when data changes, it will re-render the same HTML for you. And it's smart about updating only the parts that changed, which makes things feel really fast. Number two, JSX. JSX looks like HTML, but it's really a fancy way of letting you write stuff that looks like HTML inside of JavaScript. Instead of using create element, which is how React works under the hood, we get to write out HTML and JSX takes that and writes the boring stuff for us. This is what makes it super approachable for beginners while making it powerful for advanced users as well. Number three, components. Imagine your app as a bunch of Lego pieces. Each little piece has a job. Maybe one is a button, another is a link, Another could be a menu holding links, or an entire form. Each one of these items could be a component. The real magic happens when you reuse those pieces to build reusable modular components that fit together like Lego to make your app work. Number four, props. If you think of a component like a function, props are the arguments. They let you pass information from one component to another. You can have a button that says submit in one place, but cancel somewhere else. All you have to do is pass in a different prop, and you've got a dynamic reusable button. Number five, state. Finally, the most interesting piece, state. State is where your data lives. It's what makes your components come to life. Whether it's a number that increases every time you click a button or a text box that holds user input, state changes over time, and every time it does, React re-renders the parts of your app that need to reflect that change. And that's why it's called React. Just look at this simple counter. When I click the button, it increments a number. That number is held in state. React sees that state has changed and says, let's re-render that part of the page. And that's it. Stay tuned for more tips on React. Happy coding.